Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Mikal Tal and Mikal Botvinnik. This is the game from Tal Botvinnik World Chess Championship match that was played in Moscow in 1960. This is the game from round one. Tal had white pieces and he started with e4. Botvinnik played e6, d4, d5. Botvinnik is playing French defense. Knight to c3, bishop to b4, pinning the knight and threatening pawn takes pawn. e5, c5, a3 attacking the bishop, bishop takes knight, pawn takes bishop, queen to c7, preparing for Tal's next move. And the move is queen to g4, attacking the pawn on g7. f5, defending the pawn, and Tal played queen to g3. If pawn takes pawn, knight takes on f6, and this is good for black. So we have queen to g3. Botvinnik played knight to e7. In this variation, Botvinnik is sacrificing two pawns. Queen takes on g7. Rook to g8. Queen takes on h7. And Tal is two pawns up. C takes on d4. What now? Tal played king to d1. If c takes on d4, then queen to c3 check, winning the rook. So we have king to d1, bishop to d7, queen to h5 check, knight to g6 blocking, knight to e2, the idea is knight takes on d4, d3, c takes on d3 bishop to a4 check king to e1 queen takes pawn on e5 if black has enough time to play knight to c6 and to castle then winning for black would be a piece of cake easier said than done bishop to g5 that would prevent castling queen side Knight to c6, d4 attacking the queen, queen to c7, it is white to move, now this is very interesting move, h4, not just defending the bishop, but planning rook to h3 and then rook to e3, e5, rook to h3, and Botvinnik played queen to f7. If, for example, e4 is played, then knight to f4 doesn't look good for black, does it? Attacking the pawn. There is also a pressure on the knight on g6. Okay, so in the game we have a queen to f7. d takes on e5. Knight from c takes on e5 and rook to e3. This position doesn't look too good for black. Pay attention to white light squared bishop on f1. Bishop is waiting for his turn patiently, but once it enters the game, it will be decisive. King to d7 on pinning. Rook to b1, threatening rook takes pawn on b7 check. b6. Knight to f4. Rook from a to e8. Rook to b4, attacking the bishop. Bishop to c6. It is white to move. How to continue? Tal played queen to d1. It looks like that knight takes on g6 is also good for white. After say rook takes, rook to d4. White is better. Tal had a different plan. He played queen to d1. Knight takes on f4. Rook takes on f4. Knight to g6 attacking the rook. Tal played rook to d4. Rook takes rook. Pawn takes rook. King to c7. c4. d takes on c4 and white light squared bishop 
has entered the game winning the exchange. Queen to g7, bishop takes rook. Queen takes bishop. It is white move. Tal played a move when Botvinnik resigned. This is the move. Sending the knight back. Knight is defending f4 against the bishop, so after knight to f8, bishop to f4 check. And after, say, king to b7, why can play rook to d8 or maybe g4? After pawn takes pawn, then rook to d8. If queen takes on g4, queen takes queen, and after pawn takes h6, this is also winning for white. After pawn takes, then rook to d8, pinning the knight, threatening rook to b8, sending black in the open. After say queen to g7, rook to b8, check, and after king to a6, I don't want to guess any more moves, but you get a picture. This was the first game from the match. The match was played in Moscow in 1960. 21 games have been played. Final score, Tal, 12 and a half, Botvinnik, 8 and a half. At the age of 23, Mikhail Tal became 8th world chess champion. What do you think of this game? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your king hunt and bye for now.